friends, welcome to the kitchen of Madly Bangadi. Today I am going to share three most important things with you. First of which is the change of my language. I am going to uh, tell the recipes in English from now on. Mostly because many of my friends are non-Bengali and they have complained that if I continue speaking in Bengali then they are unable to understand the recipes although they want to taste them badly. So I am going to talk in English. Uh, in the meantime I am going to tell uh, bits and pieces in Bengali or Hindi as well so that you can cope up. If anyone has any issues with uh, the language, if anyone wants to know the recipe in Bengali specifically then please let me know so that I can send you the recipe in Bengali as well. Now coming to the second point is that as I mentioned before starting anything else that this is the kitchen of Madli Bangali. The reason I said Madli Bangali is that this uh, Madli Bangali is a new e-magazine we are going to launch very soon. It's going to come as soon as you can imagine and it's going to have loads of stuffs. It is going to have travel, it's going to have uh, fancy food options, it's going to have fashion, it's going to have lots and lots of daily basis needs that you need and it's going to be more related to the Bengali people so that you know you can easily find whatever you want whenever you want and uh, so on. Now the main thing is that uh, these recipes you can also find in the e-magazine in the upcoming seasons. So I'm gonna let you know about this e-magazine as soon as it is launched. And for now, I am going to go to the recipe which we are going to make today. About this also, I have something to share. That this is a fish recipe and uh, personally, I am not a very fish person. But I am making this fish recipe for one of my subscribers specially because he has wanted me to make a fish recipe and has literally requested me number of times to make fish recipes. So I am going to make a fish recipe today. And I'm sure you're going to like it because being a non-fish person, I love this recipe. I love the taste of it, the flavors. And it's a very traditional recipe actually. But once you taste it, uh, you can actually feel lots of flavors and they are not boring. You don't get the fishy smell and all. So it's going to be lovely and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So today we are going to make the recipe of Doi Mach. We call it in Bengali. It's basically nothing but a fish cooked in a sauce of curd. It's a white gravy, very light, it's very easily, you can digest it very easily and we are using very basic contents for it and yes, it's a very traditional recipe but I am going to make it a little my way because that's what I do with whatever traditional recipes I make. I never stick with the traditional option. I go for options and today I am showing you my way of doi match or fish in card sauce. So let me show you what we are going to need for this recipe. The first thing is we need a fish for this and here I am using rohu fish, rui match we say in Bengali. Uh, you can use any fish but make sure the fish tastes sweet because with a salty fish this recipe doesn't go that well. So it has to be a sweet a river water fish. So it can be any fish of that kind and you must cut it into pieces and use it. And the next thing we are using is we have 100 grams card. It's sour card, no sweetness mixed with it. So we are going to make stuffs with it. I'm going to show you later. And we are going to need some sunflower oil. Do not use an oil which has very strong flavors. You can use olive oil instead. Uh, we are using cumin seeds or jeera seeds. We are basically going to roast this in a dry pan. And then we are going to mix it with a card. I am going to show you later. Then we have tomatoes. Half tomato I am using for 5 pieces of fish. And we are using 5 uh, cloves of garlic. We have some slit green chilies. It's according to your taste. If you like it uh, spicier, then use uh, more chilies. If you like it a little lighter, then don't use much chilies. We have one onion. And we are going to need cardamom, cinnamon, some cloves, red chilli, bay leaf, all these things. And uh, we are here taking a few coriander leaves, uh, salt and sugar. Sugar you need to take a little extra because I like this uh, as a little sweet and sour recipe. Because the card is going to add a lot of sourness to the recipe. So you need to balance that certainly with you know a little bit of sugar. So first we are going to marinate the fish, 
we are not going to use turmeric as used in normal most fish recipes because the color of haldi is a uh, very bright yellow and we do not want any yellow color in this white gravy add some oil to this and a little bit a pinch of salt and i am going to marinate this and keep it for some time you can use lemon or vinegar if you do not like this fishy smell and if you want it you know uh, removed but i am not going to use it because later i am going to use curd so anyway the fish smell would not remain so much so just basic usage of a little bit of salt and oil will go, uh, is going to be enough for this uh, fish marination now we are going to keep this fish marinated for at least 15 to 20 minutes so that you know a little of this salt goes inside we are going to keep it for this time and after this we are going to fry this fish in uh, sunflower oil as i already showed you we are going to fry this pieces of fish so at first we are going to heat up our kadhai so that uh, it gets to a flame and after that we are going to add uh, the sunflower oil to it now i'm going to add the fishes to this oil now we are going to dry roast some of the items first i am going to add the jeera to this then i am going to add the garam masala to this and after that one red chili and i am going to roast it with no oil because it will get very beautiful flavors you can do it in any utensil you want i like it i like to do it in tawa so i'm doing it here i'm just going to roast this a little bit until the flavors the roasted beautiful smell and flavor comes out now i am going to use this one we are going to keep the bay leaf as is because we are going to add it later and the rest of the spices go into the blender so these spices are smelling delicious uh, i can assure you of that and now i am going to work with the onions and the garlic so i'm going to put these onions and garlics in the mixer and i'm going to blend it again now in the meantime we are going to make this card mixture perfect for the cooking so first we are going to put this card we are going to use half and a little more of these spices and then we are going to give the sugar to this i'm adding all the sugar so that the you know it gets soaked up real nice and then i'm giving a little bit of salt not too much and then i'm going to stir this well and nice now i'm going to add a cup of water to this add according to the requirement don't add too much Now I'm going to mix it real well. You can use a hand blender, or you can even blend it in the mixi. But I really love to blend my this card in the bowl, so I'm going to do it using a spoon or a fork. Now I have put some oil in the pan and let it get heated up. Then we are going to add the ingredients accordingly. I have added all the sunflower oil to this. Now, as soon as this oil gets heated up, I am going to add the onion garlic paste. And do not worry, this is going to create a little bit of star, but that's absolutely normal because this has water. All the water came out of onion. but we have to fry this a little nicely because this onion fry gives a lot of onion paste fry rather gives a lot of flavors to your recipe so let me just 
stir this up real nice, mix the oil, let it get cooked and simmered for a little while. So after a minute of cooking this onion garlic paste, I am going to add the curd gravy to this. Because I want it to be on the stove for a long time so that its flavor comes out really nicely. I'm going to mix this up a little bit. I have used the masala paste a little more this time. You can use it little less also. It doesn't really matter because a lot of flavors comes with the masala. So you can use more or less according to your taste. I have stirred it to some amount. I am going to add the bay leaf which I have already roasted previously. The tomatoes. And some slit green chilies to make this spicy. I am going to cover this up right now so that it gets cooked a little bit. So that the flavors come in nice. And then I'm going to add the fish to it. Over for 5 minutes. So now I'm going to add the seasoning of salt to this. I'm going to stir this up a little bit. And then it's the fish time. Let all the fishes go inside and get soaked in this gravy. I'm going to add a little bit of water on top of this just because I want this fish to cook for some time. I'm going to get the stove on high heat so that it gets cooked very easily because the fish is very easy to cook. Fish is not like chicken or uh, mutton or any other meat. It gets cooked very easily. In a few minutes it gets real nice and tender. So after I have done this, let it come to a boil and then I am going to reduce the flame. I am going to cover this up for again some time. Okay, so now I am going to uh, cover this up because we can see that it has already come to a boil. And we are going to reduce the flame. But uh, I am going to cover it up not for much long because I don't want so much gravy. I want it to be a tight recipe. So that's why I am going to keep it for around 3 to 5 minutes and that is enough for the fish to get cooked. If you want it to uh, cook uh, better, get better flavors, you can even open in between and turn the sides of the fish. Okay, so it's cooked for 1.5 minutes or more. I am going to change the sides of the fishes and do the last round of seasoning. I've changed sides of all the fishes and now I'm going to add the coriander to this. Why I add it not during the uh, garnishing but during cooking time is that to me looks of a food doesn't matter so much as to the taste of it and if you add coriander just before covering this and keeping this for one or one and a half minutes it gets a real raw flavor of coriander and uh, it's so good i tell you that you need to do this trick to any of your recipe you need to have it tasted this way and then you write me that how much you like this way of cooking thank you so my version of doi match or fish in a card base is absolutely ready and this color as you can see a little brownish it's because of the masalas we have added the garam masalas and all those and so when you give it uh, you serve it to the guests they won't really guess that it's a very basic recipe with using so little oil and so little spices we haven't used any ghee nothing nothing that is high on the cholesterol this is the lightest recipe of fish I guess I have ever tasted. So since our recipe is ready and you know that a food blogger needs to be a foodie. 
So I'm ready with my spoon. So I'm going to taste it right now and tell you how this tastes. I'm going to taste the gravy first because I'm just attracted to it from the beginning. Oh my God. Trust me. Make this recipe at home and you'll never regret making this version of doi match. No matter what version you make, I'm sure you know any version uh, which is very traditional, which is taught to you by any of your parent or grandparent. But this recipe is totally a new version of it. So this is very delicious and very tasty. Now I'm going to see whether the fish is cooked properly or not. And yes, it's coming out real nice. And it's awesome. Being a non-fish person, if I say this is awesome, you got to trust me on that. So, my suggestion is definitely try this one out because you are going to love it. You, are, If you are a fish person, you are going to love it more. If you are a non-fish person, you are going to fall in love with fish when you taste this recipe. So, serve this dish with hot steamed rice. And you're going to love the recipe, you're going to love Bengali cuisine, you're going to love everything about it. So please make sure that you make this recipe, write to me how much you loved it, write to me whatever new I can try for you. Like this recipe if you actually make it and like it. And subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for all the other recipes that are going to come soon. Because the next recipe which I'm going to cook is a little international. It's going to go outside Kolkata, outside India and somewhere which I'm going to not reveal in this episode. But stay tuned and stay tuned for the magazine as I told you before. Stay tuned. There will be a lot of news in the next episode. Bye bye for now. Stay happy. Stay well.